let's have a cozy reading weekend. It's Sunday evening right now, but I don't know. Let's read. Let's talk about some books. I just finished The Song of Achilles. Uh, it's by Madeline Miller. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's all of her book talk. Um, I actually read half of it, less than half, during my first semester of college. So that was like 2018 and I never finished it. It got to a point where I was just like, mm, I'm going to put this down and I'll come back to it later. And then I never did. But here I actually did finally. I don't know what possessed me just uh, yesterday when I started it, but the audiobook is on Scribd. I'll leave a link below because like I've fallen in love with Scribd because like it's not sponsored by Scribd but you pay an amount every month and you get like unlimited books so like gorgeous they don't have like every single book that you may want but like they've got a lot and that makes me very happy honestly and it has also been like pushing me to read books that I've been putting off for a while so aka the song of Achilles um so I just I don't know why I decided to just start listening to it um maybe because the audiobook is not that long so that help maybe i got past the part where i had stopped it was fine i actually started it on the recommendation of my friend alana she told me to read it i don't know what when she read it but this book has been out since 2011 so but she loved the book so i loved it i loved it very much wait i literally forgot to say why i liked the book but i think it was very beautiful i really love the writing i think most people that read the book already know how the story goes so it's really you're there for the writing you're there for the storytelling of it yeah that's it you're there for the storytelling and it's just it's amazing yeah mm -hmm. read it excuse my naked nails Ugh. it most definitely lived up to the hype with like really popular book talk books you get one of two things uh, like actually really good books that very much deserve the hype they're so popular because people that are well read are like this is what you should read and then there's the other group of books where people who haven't read since they were like a child are finding reading again and the first book that they read of whatever genre that they they fell in love with they read that book and then they recommend it and that's why it becomes so like insanely popular on book talk you know what i'm saying like colleen hoover books not that i am a contemporary romance reader but I'm sure that there are far better books in the contemporary romance genre than the Colleen Hoover books that you should start in that genre with. But a lot of people start with Colleen Hoover and they fall in love with that, um, which is problematic. Or like from Blood and Ash. People read that like new to the genre and they're like, wow, this is so good. And it's like, you realize that's like the worst of the genre. Like there are such better books by such better authors that deserve the hype and place for those genres let me know your thoughts on this because i feel very passionately about this but <laughs> we got a little bit off topic the song of achilles i really really enjoyed it i feel like this is a book that you can go into not having read anything from the genre before but it's also like an acquired taste at the same time like you could definitely not enjoy this but you wouldn't not necessarily because it's a bad book it's just because of your preference you know what i'm saying like objectively it's a good book <laughs> i don't read much historical fiction or mythology what was, what was i just saying <laughs> i just started thinking of something else whatever i was just saying but yeah a good book and i would recommend it if it's the vibe for you okay this was certainly not the vibe for me when i was 18 but it was the vibe for me now that I'm 22. I just had to look at what year it was because I forget how old I am. Good thing I go with the year. I'm scrolling through the Goodreads page and people's reviews is two star. It's literally so funny. I'm only gonna use two stars because Patroclus is a nice boy who deserves nice things. Basically saying Achilles is high key toxic. Do you realize what era this was set in? The society it was set in. Okay. Alright, whatever. I really liked this book. I thought this was very good and it's a very short book. It says it's like 350 pages, but it was honestly kind of short. Also, the last line of this damn book. Yes, I did cry. Not as much as I cried for like mm, Jade City, say, but it was some good amount of tears.
Anyways, moving on. What I'm gonna currently read tonight, and I'm going to finish it tonight, is The Rogue Crown by A.A. Mulford. I... Uh, when will I finish this freaking book? It's just because it's a physical book, and the past few weeks I haven't been in like a proper routine of reading physically. I've been in a routine of like listening to audiobooks and I've been very much in my audiobook mood. And when I started this, I was not in an audiobook mood. So <sighs> well, that's also kind of why I'm filming because I need some motivation to read this. If you're just joining, this is a third book in a series called The Five Crowns of Okrith. The first book is The High Mountain Court. The second book, which is my favorite, um, is The Witch's Blade. Love that book so much but the third book isn't out until october 25th i got an arc of it and i'm like 80 percent so i really need to finish it and i was looking forward to this book so much so I, it just it's bugging me that i haven't finished it yet this is a fantasy with romance with spies i really like the world maybe you could say this is one of those like fantasy romances that are a little bit tropey but like in a good way like all the tropes in it are ones that I love and I just love to see and I think that the author does it super well so although with this third book um I feel like some things are just happening a little bit too like all these different things are slotting into place a little too well I think personally I would just like a little more conflict I think that the third book is very different than the second book which the second book's my favorite, so I'm trying not to compare it too much, but it's the same series, so I kind of have to, you know? Each of the books follows a different main character, but it's all within, like, the same storyline, so you have to read them in order. So, anyways, I'm gonna continue with this and finish it tonight, and hopefully finish it before House of the Dragon comes on. I'm actually at 85%, so that's promising. How is this supposed to tie up in 15%? So yeah, enjoy the reading vlog. I did a poll on my Instagram. What is the next thing that I should do in a reading vlog? Everybody said Lord of the Rings. And so I was like, okay, hey, gonna do Lord of the Rings next. And then I was like, you know what? I kind of want to like plan this out more and like do some fun stuff. So that video is coming, I promise. But I just felt like making this one because I need motivation to finish this damn book. Okay, let's read besties.
finished the rogue crown. Sorry if you can hear my fridge buzzing. It's literally so loud. But yeah, I finished it finally. It just took me so long to read it and it's not the fault of the book or anything. I'm just a very slow physical book reader if I don't have like a set routine in place. I really liked this third installment. I gave it a four out of five stars. I didn't love it as much as the second book so definitely go read the second book but this one had strengths of its own there are things i wish that were pushed more like i felt like it could have been a longer book within the previous two books i felt like the story was full and like i got to know the world in each of those books but i felt like in this one i wanted to get to know the world more and i felt like not that this had to be a, a slow burn because it's an enemies to lovers i think that the enemies to lovers part could have just been a little bit more like fleshed out but I enjoyed it but I just wish that it had gone more I wanted to see more of the world and the people because like in the previous books we didn't really like get that because it just wasn't part of their stories but this one was definitely part like the people of the of the kingdom is definitely part of the sovereign story so I just wish that there was more of that in this one, but I still really enjoyed it. Anyways, I definitely recommend reading this series because the fourth book, I'm looking forward to it so much. I think that the kingdom is going to be so interesting to find out about and the main characters. With this third book, we find out who the like two main characters are going to be. <laughs> I'm so excited for that one. Like. Since the second book ended, I've been looking forward to the third book because I really like that character's vibe, so. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna read after this, but I'm going to watch House of the Dragon and start whatever book tomorrow. <laughs> Rocky, what are you doing? Hello? <laughs>
Has anyone seen Pillars of the Earth, the TV show with Eddie Redmayne? Um, yeah. This bestie is literally like, what is he? A monk? Uh, 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 somebody, you know, a, a monk, right? Is that what they're called? I forget. I haven't seen it in ages. But he is that. And my mom just like cannot unsee it. He's so attractive in this, but he's so not attractive in Pillars of the Earth. <laughs> Hi.